And I wanted to talk to you specifically about what happened uh, this week. The BBC published an article which talked about testimonies from various uh, women, predominantly lesbians, who talked about the way in which they were feeling pressurised uh, into uh, accepting trans people into their dating pool and were being called transphobic uh, if they didn't accept it. A lot of people are going to be confused about this because there was a massive backlash. People are very, very angry about this article. Perhaps you might be able to explain to us why this is causing such a stir. Well, if you think about it from the point of view of the trans activists, uh, obviously lesbians should be considering trans women as members of their dating pool because, as we're told, trans women are women. So if you're a gay woman, you should be looking at women as your dating pool and trans women are women. But then you learn the second bit of the equation, which is that trans just means a declaration. So a trans woman could be you if you say, I'm a woman. So suddenly you are a member of a lesbian's dating pool. Now, of course, most actual trans women don't go around the place saying, you know, you've got to go to bed with me or else. But the ideology is that a lesbian must regard male people as members of her dating pool if those male people declare themselves to be women. So the question is really one of gender self-identification. That's the issue that a lot of people have. Is that, is, am I right? Yeah, that's right. So what I mean, I call it gender identity ideology, the idea that what makes you a man or a woman is what you say you are, what you feel you are and what you say you are, rather than what you were conceived, male or female. And within that ideology, lesbians are female identified people or woman identified people who find woman identified people sexually attractive. They could both be male, in fact. Mm. You know, it's, it's just divorced from biology entirely. 